Hi, and thank you very much for stopping by. I'm Jose Lozano, and on this video, I'll be doing a controversial but informative review of the Sima S107G RC helicopter. The intention of this video is to tell the truth and nothing but the truth to all those curious people who want to start with RC helicopters using the S107G model or want to give it as a gift, maybe, but you know, they're still not sure if this is a good investment or not. You know, Sima is saying great things about this little flying device, and here I'll challenge some of those claims and show you the good, the bad, and the ugly about this little flying device. I invite you to stay with me and discover if Sima can hold its claims about one of their most famous RC helicopters. This actually will be fun. For an electronic device, we say that this device is stable if it responds to an input signal and holds that set point for as long as the input signal is present. In other words, this means that if I tell a helicopter to go off, it should go off for as long as I say so, right? Um, and it should do the same thing uh, with all the other commands from the transmitter. Thus, the helicopter is stable and controllable. Okay, let's test it. As you can see, I start the helicopter very slowly and it starts to spin a little bit in the clockwise sense. For this, I adjust the trim to make this correction. Uh, also, the controls are pretty sensitive, but as you can see, once that thing that it takes off, uh, the helix is very responsive and follows the commands of that transmitter. Well, here I'm doing just a basic flight test to see if it actually uh, is easy to fly or not. You know, the big surprise for me is that the heli is not just easy to control, but also allows you to calibrate and wire your brain to educate yourself about how these things work. Awesome. You know, some of my fr some of my friends and relatives uh, without any experience uh, with RC helicopters also tested it, and after a few crashes, I must say, a few crashes, and half these uh, hearts combined with adrenaline and surprise, uh, they were actually able to fully control the S107D from China. Uh, so I think it's a, it's a great, great toy for the okay? Now the You know, this part will hurt a little bit, but everything I do here, I do it for you guys. Let's count them. There you go. Dozens of crashes and still flying. Oops. There you go. <laughs> you know, there are some people saying that they actually received some fake toys, and by fake toys they mean uh, that they receive a different brand of toys, okay? Not not the Sima uh, RC helicopters. In my case, you know, I purchased uh, both of them, a blue one and a yellow one. I purchased those from Amazon.com and it wasn't my experience, you know. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying, hey, I, I purchased two of them and both of them, both cases, they come up with, um, they arrived with this amazing, gorgeous box you see here. I love it. It's a, it's a great box. And um, it wasn't my case. However, I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying if you happen to be in the situation, 
please contact Amazon uh, customer support, uh, support service. They for sure will help you. That's the reason why I love to buy from them because they have one of the best uh, customer support services that I've ever seen. And just, you know, if you, if you receive something different from what you ordered, just contact them. Don't, don't get angry. Don't sweat it too much. Just contact them. Let them know what the situation is. And they for sure will take it, uh, will take good care of you, okay? You know, there are some people also saying that their helicopters uh, work for a week or so and then they stop working at all. In my case, my yellow helicopter uh, stopped working, stopped working uh, after after a week or so. But in this case, I actually have to admit that um, it was because I over tested it. I was flying, you know, in a very small place and um, it was very, very high. I lost control. The helicopter hit the walls and the, hard, and the, the floor very, very hard. And after that, it, it, it never flew again. So in my case, I know that it was because I did something. Just so you, just so you know, look at it. It's simply spinning, but it won't fly again. You know, most of uh, most of uh, expert pilots, they, they actually say that most crashes occur because of the lack of experience of the pilot, uh, rather than because of a bad toy. You know, in this case, that's totally true. I know sometimes it can be hard to accept the truth. However, uh, I must say that I know what's going on with this one. I actually know it's because I over-tested it. Uh, I'm not very concerned about that because I actually ordered the spare parts. It was like $4 or something like that. Amazon.com actually can help you with, with that. And you know, I hope to see my helicopter flying soon. So I'm not, I'm not really concerned about that because I know what happened. I know it was my fault. And uh, but but sure, if if you have a problem, you know, if if your helicopter is um, it's uh, simply not working, and you know you, you know you didn't do anything, just contact Amazon customer support. They'll for sure will take your will take care of you. Uh, just ask them for a refund or something. Let them know the situation, and they'll be very helpful with you. Okay. Something else that people are complaining about is the flight time you get when the battery is fully charged. You know this is a problem. But it's not exclusive from the S107G model from Sima. In fact, every single RC helicopter uh, has this condition. That's because of the technology used to build the batteries uh, for these devices. Okay, so it's 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 one of those things that are the way they are. You know, that's what we have right now. But actually, if you if you want to um, uh, increase the flight time, and just so you know, it's because you have to charge the battery for something like 40 to 50 minutes and then uh, you get a flight time of maybe seven minutes or eight minutes you know something like that so if, if that's that's what problem that's what people are, are complaining about you know and uh, if you want to um, avoid or you know increase the flight time you get you can actually uh, change the battery to an upgraded version I'm actually uh, going to show you the link uh, below in this in this review you know in the in the written content of this review I'll show you a link if you want to if you want to get that one. Uh, it's something I think it's it's a it's a good alternative. Or what you can do is to purchase actually two of them, and while you charge one, you can um, fly with the other one, okay? And and have fun, you know, and and and, and wait um, and wait uh, less time for for uh, for you to actually uh, be able to use your your RC helicopter, okay? But you know that's that's the way it is. It's not because of the helicopter. It's because of the battery, uh, the technology to build the batteries, okay? You know, this is one of those things that happened. It wasn't my experience. I actually received two great toys, uh, nicely packaged, you know, ready to fly out of their box. And uh, it, it wasn't my experience. Uh, however, if you if you uh, happen to be in this condition, this situation, um, don't sweat it too much. Don't suffer that much. Just contact Amazon's customer support and they will help you out. Okay, so after everything I've done with these two guys and, you know, everything you've seen on this video, I think, I don't know what you think is, but, but I, and I would love to know your opinion, but in my opinion, this, uh, you know, the S107G model from Zima uh, has a 4.8, uh, my overall rating is 4.8 out of 5. And the reason why I say that is very, very simple. You know, you get lots and lots of hours of fun at a very, very affordable price. You know, these I purchased from, from Amazon, they offered a huge discount for each one. Uh, you get, I think, um, less, you pay less than 50% of the, of the list price, so that's that's great. Also, these were eligible for free shipping, so you can take advantage of that. Um, and, and, you know, it's not just the price, it's just the, not just that the helicopter is fun, but also the way it's built, you know, it's very, very durable. The metal frame really, you saw that here, and, um, you know, 
it's pretty educated. You actually can learn how to fly these things, and you, if you have no experience at all with these uh, RC lifters, uh, you know the S107G model. It's one of the best RC helicopters you can get if you're a beginner, or if you want to give it as a gift to um, so to a person. It's um, you know, it's a complete newbie in terms of RC helicopters. Okay, my my experience was great. I know that this one's not flying anymore, but I'm not that concerned because I know what happened. I know what's happened. What, um, I know that I that I over tested it, and right now I actually ordered some spare parts. So I'm not really, you know, I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, I'll I'll create some other posts and I'll show you. Uh, hopefully, I'll show you this one in action as well. But you know, right now I think Sema earned the bragging rights to say that they have one of the best RC helicopters for beginners that the world has seen. Well, that's everything I have for you guys right now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. And if you liked it, please let me see some thumbs up there. Uh, also, let me know your comments and your questions. I'd love to know more about you. Uh, don't forget to fab to this video, to like it, to subscribe to the channel, and basically push all the social buttons so that more people know about this fantastic RC Hunter, okay? My name is Jose Lozano, and remember, everyone can fly. Let me show you why. Ha <laughs> ha.